Hello and welcome to this video presentation from Royal Cyber WebSphere Portal team. Today we are going to discuss how to configure OpenID authentication with IBM WebSphere Portal 8. Let me show you a quick demo and then we will go in details of the configuration. So in WebSphere Portal 8, I click on login and as you can see, the Facebook icon on the right hand side. It means that Facebook has been configured as an open ID authentication provider in WebSphere Portal 8. So I can log in in my WebSphere Portal 8 using my organization credentials or I can use my Facebook account to log in. I click on Facebook icon and that redirects me to the application on Facebook that I have configured on Facebook and ask for credentials. I keyed in my credentials and I am now redirected to my WebSphere Portal 8 and I have been granted access as an authenticated user inside WebSphere Portal 8. Now, let's look at some of the cool features of Facebook that we can perform from within WebSphere Portal. I clicked on status update page and that gives me a pop-up window to update my status. Let's type something and check on the Facebook wall. So here is the post we just shared from our status update page inside portal. Now let's check the Facebook like feature. I clicked on the Facebook like page and as you can see this is a sample page with Facebook like and send buttons. I clicked on the Facebook like button and this is posted on my wall. Now that we have seen Facebook configured as OpenID authentication provider and we have seen some of the cool features that we can perform from within WebSphere portal, let's move on to the configuration. Okay, I have listed down all the required steps for configuration in this notepad file. So we can have a clear idea of the steps that are required to be performed. For further details, please go to the following link. To configure Facebook, First, go to developers.facebook.com and register your WebSphere Portal Server instance as Facebook application. You must register two applications. One application is the protected path that is slash WPS slash my portal and one application is the public unprotected path that is slash WPS slash portal. As you can see on this screen after registering Facebook provides you with an application ID and an application secret. Use this information when running the enable identity provider tie task. Now go to the command prompt, move to config engine and run the enable identity provider task. Notice that in this command we have used 
प्राइवेट एप्लीकेशन आई डी एंड सीक्रेट एंड देन पब्लिक एप्लीकेशन आई डी एंड सीक्रेट run this command in the config engine directory in the command prompt after running this command you will receive a build successful message now let's move on to step 3 in step 3 login into websphere portal as websphere portal admin go to the administration and then go to portlets Now in step three we have to configure the login portlet. Make sure that you enter the following parameters with the values. after inserting these parameters and values let's go ahead to step number 4 now we have to configure the profile management portlet make sure that you insert the following parameters and values in the profiles management portlet after inserting these parameters Let's go to step number five. In step number five, we have to verify the following two jar files on this location. So for this, go to your WebSphere portal server and inside C drive, go to IBM, and then in portal server. go to prereq coms http client inside lib and then inside ext folder make sure that you have these two jar files available now the next step requires that we insert the ssl certificate inside Websphere application server that is running Websphere portal application. So for this task, let's go ahead and go to the Websphere application server. and inside security ssl certificate and key management click on manage endpoint security configuration
and then under outbound click on Websphere portals server now we need to go to key store and certificates and then click on no default trust store and then go to signer certificates in this list you have you can see that the certificate is already available to retrieve certificate click on retrieve from port and then provide the following information hostname port and then alias and then click on retrieve signer information after this you will have this certificate in the new node default trust store in step 7 we need to restart our portal server so go ahead and restart your portal server by issuing the stop server and then start server command now in step 8 we have to modify the identity provider trust association for this task go to Websphere integrated solutions console under security global security click on web and zip security and then click on trust association click on interceptors and then click on open ID trust association interceptor in this you need to insert two values first make sure that you have inserted bin attribute with the labeled URI value and then the login attribute parameter with UID value after performing this task we are done with the integrating open ID authentication now our next task is to perform the configuration of transient users so for this task again go to websphere portal server and run the following command after running this command restart your websphere portal server by providing the stop server and the start server commands in step 2 you need to create group objects for external providers to assign different access rights to the transient users so for this in websphere application server go to global security and then in federated repositories click on transient IDP and 
create a new custom property for with the name build groups for and value Facebook after doing this task restart your WebSphere portal server again now in the third task we need to mark transient identity provider users as external so for that go to resource environment providers under resource resource environment go to resource environment providers and look for WP Puma store service click on custom properties and add a new value for parent DN external users so in the name enter parent DN external users and in the value type O is equals to transparent so, we'll, so you will have the following entry after following step number three let's move on to step four in step four we are required to load user attributes during authentication so for that we go to global security click on web and zip and security click on trust association and then go to interceptors click on open ID trust association interceptor now add the following parameter provider.facebook.load attributes and with this parameter we have marked we have loaded the users attributes during authentication process now in last go ahead and restart your server So in this video presentation we have seen how to configure Facebook as an open ID authentication provider we have seen how to update our status from within WebSphere portal and after that we have gone through the configuration steps that are required to configure Facebook as an open ID authentication provider thank you